Good morning, good evening, uh, good afternoon, wherever you may be. CC here, Chris, from New York. It's June 6th, uh, second video of the day. I didn't think I was going to actually put one out. It's another one. Um, but this is going to be the system part two. Only because I want people to understand what the system has created. Your personality, before getting into the flat earth, of course, is completely false. I mean, don't you understand that? Don't you see that? That all the fake music that's out there, all the entertainment that's out there, that makes somebody, you know? When you look at somebody's music list on their iPhone or Android or Samsung or whatever the fuck it is, who cares? That makes the person, doesn't it? That's you. That's what you listen to. So if you listen to U2 or you listen to, I don't know, I, I can't, I don't even know the bands nowadays, so I, and I really could care less. My point is that makes you, Okay. That makes everybody. That's your personality. And that's how bad the system has become. All right? Your system, this this system is judged on everything that you do. It's not judged on what you can do. It's judged on unmaterial, uh, all materialistic bullshit that you have. And that makes you where it should not be. What should make you is what you believe in. And, you know, I think about this shit now, and I'm just amazed that we all fell for it, you know, that because of the music that I listen to, and, you know, I mean, if I was single and I was trying to find a woman now, I don't know how the fuck this generation meets people. They must be so lost they really must be. The way everybody's been conditioned to, you know, if we, if he doesn't like this song, if he doesn't like that song, if he doesn't have that phone, if he doesn't like to do this, if he's not hooked up to the social network, if he's not hooked up to this, you know, I mean, it must be very, very different. They've confused us to a point right now where male and female don't even know what the fuck they are anymore. I mean, that's how bad it is. And, uh, holy shit. It's gone to shit, guys, and it's now going to crash. I'm telling you, there's just no way it can continue like this and destroy our, our children at this point, you know? I, I, I mean, I can't believe there are reality shows with mothers who are these obese beasts, you know, who, I, I don't even, I, I can't even tell if they're male or female. I mean, it's gotten that bad. Who are conditioning their children to go into these pageants and, and uh, waste time with their lives. I mean, do you see what, what the system has done? You know, look, when you get into the flat earth, all right, and you understand everything that's going on, all right, and I have, this is not new to me, I'm, I'm just, I don't even know why I made a video today, I, I really had not much to talk about, but, I mean, I have so much to talk about, but... You know, my daughter's graduating. She's got finals now. She's going into her next grade. Yeah, you know, it really got to me last night. And, uh, you know, you think about when you were growing up, you know, before you were just a stupid fuck. <laughs> you know, that you just believed everything that was going on. And, uh, hey, look, I was a stupid fuck, too. But my point is, look, all right, this is, this is what it is, you know, and, and it, it, it really does suck. It's not going to change, but we will make a difference 
on this. We will come together. We are going to do something here. I can feel it. This is all going to crash land. It's going to crash and burn. Because it can't continue on like this. Look at the house prices. What are they going to go? Are you telling me in five years these houses are going to be $5 million on the, on the rate the inflation is? We've already went through the hellhole in 2009. I mean, don't you see what's happening here? I mean, it's history being repeated and repeated and repeated. And you know what? 2009 wasn't, the, you know, the, the crash. We had it in the 80s and we had it in the 90s. It's just repeating itself. And then it goes down and then it goes back up and then it goes down and it goes back up. And that's the value of everything. And that's how inconsistent the value is of things. It's all bullshit. The value of things is what the people who run this country want it to be. And that's a shame. We are fueling them. And that's fine because we are the happiest people in the world. And for you watching this video and knowing that you're a flat earther, you are the smartest person in the world. Yes, you are. You might not realize that. And again, I don't know how you found me. It's a regular guy here putting these videos out but you know once you realize the the lies and and the uh, object that you're living on that's stationary that's not moving that's flat and that gravity has been a lie to you and recent SpaceX rocket that took off to God knows fucking where. I don't know. Was that a satellite that they're putting up there now? <laughs> there are no satellites. All right. And I want you to think about one thing. Okay. People believe all these satellites exist up in space. They have been putting these towers up everywhere. Okay. Everywhere with shit on it that you don't even know what the fuck they are. They look like solar panels and and all sorts of weird stuff from Star Trek. I, you know, I've, I've mentioned this before. And they're everywhere. Don't you realize why they're there? Are they there to, to increase your internet connection? No, they're not. It's because there are no satellites up there. They don't exist. The only satellite that's buzzing around is the mosquito that's about to bite you on your forehead. <laughs> okay? That's it. Uh... It's a shame, it really is. But we were so happy when we were kids, weren't we? You know, I mean, we really were. Everything was so content and innocent. But these, they, right now, are not going through the indoctrination system. Not at this point. Not yet. So I consider them the smartest people in the world right now. Your children are the smartest people in the world. And the adults that are here, that have kids... Or not. For getting into anything with flat earth. Have gone over that threshold. You know. Have gone over that. Hump. Of. Reality. That we live in. Yeah. yeah maybe, maybe it's not a big deal for other people. You know. Maybe it's not. not maybe. Maybe maybe somebody could just say. Oh yeah. No. You know. Your earth is flat. That's great. You know, no big deal, you know. I, I could live with it. I could live with the reality that they've created here. You know, I, I could I could live with the house disaster, with, with the real estate disaster that we had that's just going to happen over and over and over again. And eventually it's going to bring the economy down. And, and then what, what are we going to do then? You know, we've all bought these houses that are $850,000, okay? And what's going to happen then when the value of it's going to be half that price? What are you going to do? You know, when's it going to end? Well, it's going to end soon. That I do promise. All right. So for those single guys out there, what's the first thing that happens when you go into a relationship? Or no, I add on a first date, what happens? The cell phone comes, the smartphone comes out, sorry. 
I'm, I'm, I'm dating myself here. Smartphone comes out. Da, 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 we're, we're, we're doing something here. We're checking emails. You know, but that's indoctrination. Okay. That's what it really is. It's all about that. And that's what our personality has been revolved around. You know, and that really is a tragedy that the uh, powers to be have created this entire system and has created our personality revolved around materialistic things. You should choose what you want to do. Your parents shouldn't be able to tell you what you have to do. You know, you know, you should do this, you should do that. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I mean, if, if you understand what I'm saying, you know, and you, and you've seen my other videos, you'll, you'll understand where I'm going with this. Um, sports are important. Sports are, you got to get the fuck out of the house. You can't sit in your house and, and do nothing. All right. I, I'm, I, I'm a big believer in sports, but the careers that people have made, just like the career politicians, you know, uh, are, are, they're just so bad. You know, I mean, it's not real. You should learn sports. It brings your intelligence up. Swimming, tennis, skiing, whatever, call it. We should all do it. Just find something in your heart you like to do and go from there. Because this world's about to change drastically. And if people aren't on board with this, well, then you better invest in something. You better know what you're doing. Tomorrow, we'll be getting into the flat earth, and I'm going to be talking a little bit more about it. Come up with some ideas that I think you might be interested in. Um... I thank you for subbing. I thank you for uh, viewing my videos. I thank you for uh, letting me be a part of your life.